I'm beginning to think that this is just blatant CGI, you know, because even if it was, we've, we've seen different perspectives where you can see like land features um, much clearer than what we're observing here. And these clouds, again, there is no movement in the clouds, there is no parallax shift. Uh, it's just well, not you know, happening. The, the morphing of the clouds, I would be more, you know, concerned about if it was time lapse. But this is supposedly real time, and from that distance, you know, I could see the clouds. But yeah, you're right; they're totally still, and that is a little bit bizarre. So, you know, I'm not going to say 100% that this is high altitude footage, but I, I think it could be. And again, in order to to pull off a lie like this, they'd have to use some real stuff because people can tell when everything's just fake CG, like that other feed that's obviously something up with that have you yep. seen the video of uh, Obama that clearly is front of a green screen uh, I I heard about that and I know that it's Patricia so and crazy. Mark, yeah they were talking about you know they were wondering if Obama himself wasn't a CGI uh, <laughs> creation and you know that sounds crazy but if you have seen you know, like I was talking about last night if you have seen some of the software that is available for this stuff yeah. oh, like where they whack, can do whack the dog type of thing oh it's unbelievable oh you know we, we had Michael Jackson years ago doing a live show right as a hologram the, the tech is there so can you imagine in the future where you're you know, you never see the prime minister or the president. And they just end up being someone else in a suit. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I've no, never seen. Long. Have you guys ever seen this before? They're doing a pan. Uh, that's exactly oh. right. I'll get a load of this pan. No, what no, is this? No, 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 no. Uh, that's a USPS Wait. mailbox right there, <laughs> painted white. Why? Yeah. Is that? Let me. Uh... Oh no. Okay, I got it. I think I sometimes I wonder if that's my computer that does that, but uh, look at that pan. Oh my goodness, that's just beyond belief. Who does that? Well, no, yeah, see, that's it? something that we I've never seen before them do. And it's kind of funny because we've always complained, and a lot of people have complained that they've never done this sort of sweep with their camera. Um, and I think it's yeah, funny no that they're now doing it for the, as far as I've seen the first time. Yeah, notice well, the they air stops rotating. They won't go 360 degrees, which is the complaint I have, which is keep going to the right now. Keep going. You don't need to show me the globe. Keep going to the right and show me what's behind you. Of course, they won't do that. Yeah, because it would just be more right. horizon behind them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> If they're even up there. Oh, look at this. Now, this Earth's going to go away, so we're going to be... Oh, I thought we were going to be in space all by ourselves. 360? No way. No stars. Oh, it's because the uh, lens speed, John. I can't... It's a weird camera. Yeah. Can't get the lens speed right right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or the, or, or the shutter opening or anything like that. Or, you know... That's crazy. And also notice, I don't know if you guys noticed, but during the pan, the Earth stopped rotating. Well, keep it here because <laughs> now we've got no Earth. We just saw it rotate too high out of view, so how is it going to come back? I don't know. they got to be listening to us. <laughs> this right. looks like a... I'm sorry, but this looks like a rendering to me. Just the way that it's such a chop, like, frame rate. I don't know. I mean, I know the frame rate gets kind of bad sometimes, but this just looks like a, C a, a 3D rendering to me. Oh my god, they're going for the 360. Oh, that makes it, sense. And now, if the Earth's on the sun and they're doing a 360 back, then how is the station so brightly lit? Oh my god, what? What? How did, so, that, how did, that, how did that happen? How did that happen? Now the Earth is upside down. Rotating the other direction. All right, you spatial geniuses, how did this happen? We're doing a horizontal pan, and the Earth went vertical. <laughs> <laughs> Far out. Oh, look at this. There's R2-D2. <laughs> Fire up the converters. There's little green and purple lights down there. See it turn purple, now green, now red, now green, red. Do you see it down there? I don't see it. It's about at... Uh, oh. Oh, yeah, 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 I see it. Yeah. Like 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock? Yeah. That oh, my God, like they're going to bring it back for us. Back. Look at what they're doing. 
Oh, God, I feel so honored. I can't believe that they're doing this. <laughs> Thank you. But it's, it's still the same old, same old, though, because they're not they're not giving you a full-on thing. It's a very, very good little trick photography, but, yeah, it doesn't work for me. It looks like they wrote yeah, F.U. The... right there, too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm waiting to see sex roll by in the clouds. <laughs> <laughs> I think they just whipped the... a U in its face. Oh, that's insane! That's pretty good doing doing that at seventeen thousand miles an hour. But I still <laughs> want to know how they did that that horizontal pan and and completely inverted the Earth. All right, everybody, thanks for joining us uh, on uh, Globebusters Lucky Number ISS thirteen, uh, ISS number thirteen, and uh, we'll catch you all next week. And uh, again, go ahead and send me those suggestions. With that, uh, we will see you all later. Have a great uh, week. Peace.